Hoops on FS1 is sponsored by Deep Grand Cherokee. Credential Center here in New Jersey, 13 or 11. Marquette on top of Seton Hall. And those little guards can get in deep, Coach. That little drag in here sets it up. But look at this, guys. Look at the confusion. And this has happened a few times. The ability to get in that lane so important, I think. And the better the judgment, the availability. How's it begging? Please put it on the plate. Big fellow with a little nylon. Marquette missed their last 12 threes versus Providence the other day. They start this game two of three, though. Impressive. I think it's getting their feet, getting the custom. It, it doesn't seem like the two guards have had big games together of late. Drowsy and Howard. There's Hazard Hauser is one of those kids that can really provide a lift, but anybody else gives them. Now they cause problems. A couple of turnovers in that second half against Seton Hall with this three-quarter court pressure late in the shot clock here. Carrington will back his way into the front court. Runs a pick and roll with Rodriguez. It looks like a little two-three zone look now. A little extension on the wings. Here's Carrington. Kicks Rodriguez. Fires. His ball. Numbers. Howard. Bounce back. To the bucket. And that one rejected out of bounds. Great job. Great recovery. As Carrington got back on defense. I thought LA could have done more with this one though. Look at this, just exposing it. You gotta duck it. Let the guy go by you, protect it. It's not all about the glamour. It's not? No. Well, in your case, it's glitter. <laughs> <laughs> Elliot. Nice ball fake. So he's been working on his post moves today and in practice tonight on separation. Howard steps inside and knocks down the jump shot. He separates as well as anybody I've seen. He can do that from three in the lane. Dynamite. Only a sophomore. Cross court. Miles Powell, 15 footer. Got it. And the foul. What a nice strength, huh? The svelte body. With only a three-point shooter when he arrived in South Orange, but now he's got a middle game. And the strength to take that nick and deliver. With a chance for three. Like this kid. Strong. Big, strong legs, too. Had 17 against Villanova on Sunday with 6 of 13 from the field in 35 minutes. Three of eight from the three-point line. I saw his name is Cheese. That's probably his ability to stroke it. Did you have a nickname? Uh, no, never no. had one. I'm still waiting for you to give me one. Just, just Gustavo. Gustavo, I like that. Howard. Howard now to the bucket. Pretty, pretty finish, huh? I like this kid, man. Soft Take delivery. Ball. Caring to the other way, hands it off to no go strip. Elliot got him out of bounds. And that's not being ready by Marquette. You score at this end, the ability to hang, often take the hit and finish, and all of a sudden you're not back, you're not in position, but the blow by, number zero, he and Rousey, boy, together. They are dynamite, getting numbers. And a sub coming in, Rousey, to replace Howard. <laughs> Neither one is really a point guard. Wouldn't you agree? More of scoring guards? I think was Earl the Pearl a point guard? Was well, Clyde a point guard no, no, when they I, played together? I'm just kidding. With no, you. no, no, you're right. They both, well, they both sacrificed. They, they could do that, it. But there was sacrifice involved on both parts. There you go. You're absolutely right, though. You know, they could ring the bell and make plays. Subjugated their egos. Something I wish our production truck would do. <laughs> Steve Shear, Brian Lilly, our producer and director. We've got a rebound. Kane off the mark. Carrington has got Rodriguez. He does. Master Blaster. Desi Rodriguez. Giving it up on time. So essential. Use your footwork now. 
Loose, picked up. Elliott, tend to shoot. Rousey. Hauser's got to make a decision right here. Got to back off him just a little. Don't get your hands in there. Sunoco, nice. good defense. And somehow, wow, what a shot by Sam Hauser. He is a talent. No kidding. Step through. He knows how high he has to elevate on shots, too. Delgado slipping to the basket. The kick. Carrington sets his feet. No. And gets the roll. That's again an angel celebrating in the backcourt. He must be a joy to play with. He made the pass. He's as happy as a guy that sent one down. Pirates have their first lead of the game. Rousey hadn't been looking for a shot. Now he does. Rodriguez, cross court, Carrington. Really muscling, Rousey. Didn't have to really run the offense. Elliott. They had either a walk and or a charge. Foul. His second. And an open floor opportunity to get it, but right here the ability to step through. Terrific footwork, a little nylon, and down the other end, a guy who's been around a while, Kadeem, ringing the bell. A little local touch there, Gustav. All right, let's take a look at some notable unbeatens in conference play this year. Pretty impressed, had Cincinnati early in the year, very tough older team. Of course, Rhode Island, Danny Hurley's doing a great job there. To Purdue. Nobody talks much about them. All right, let's go inside the huddle with Kevin Willard. We're going to be up two. And we're not playing good. Understand that? We're getting beat a little bit. We're trying to ice too early. We got to stay straight up a little bit more. Understand? And try to keep these guys, keep them in front of us a little bit. Everybody's turning their body a little bit too much too early. Understand? Okay, and that's what's giving us straight line drives. I just love the way Coach Wheeler communicates with his guys. Well, the vocabulary is interesting. Ice is something that we have. And we're not happy with the other way ice, but they force it one way. And he's saying that they're dictating it a little bit early, particularly on a ball screen. They try and force it to the side or, or to the middle. But the vocabulary of each guy is so different. You know, they something they either have from their high school or college coach or as an assistant in another program. How far back do you go with Coach Willard's dad? With Ralph? Yeah. I, I'm sure I met him at Syracuse when he was there as an assistant. And then, of course, at Holy Cross when he had that long, successful run. And then, of course, Western Kentucky. By the way, they beat PJ's team in the NCAA tournament. I think it was 19, a big upset after they had gotten to the Final Four. And Ralph... Certainly one of the great innovators in the game. Must be so proud of his son. Meanwhile, Rousey's starting to get warm. They got he knocks down the baseline jump shot for three. They got the two little guys back together, Marquette. That's what's hurt them in the last game. Got to finish that NC. What a nice look by Angel Delgado, though. Angel is becoming a, a very uh, efficient passer. Absolutely. Good vision. Knows what pass to make. And Marquette worked today at covering that weak side. Once the double comes, you've got to be on a string. And they were not very alert. They got away with one there. Got two assists already. Averages three a game. Howard. Got his man in the air. Pure. Tell you what. That side saddle is tough. When you bite on the pump, Rousey may be one of the best in the country next to Brunson. And Howard pretty good at it as well. And off Powell. Delgado down the lane. Nice. See you again. You gotta shoot that coach. Yeah, he should. You're right. That was a little too much heat on that one. He does have that running hook too. I mean he's developed that. He's expanded his game. When you talk to the NBA scouts about Angel Delgado, the first thing they say is he will certainly have a chance if he does what he does. Rebound. Huh? 
Well, Chuck Daly said you can do one thing great, you can make it in the NBA. Now, that doesn't mean being a star, but you can be a valid contributor. Rousey. And no show whatsoever. No timeout. That time, Angel sort of zoned up, and all you need is a little space when you're Rousey. 9-0 run for Marquette. They've hit three threes, and they're up. The largest lead of the game for the Golden Eagles. 38-31. Welcome back to Fox College Hoops. Due to time constraints, we move ahead to later in the game. Back to the top of that three-point line. They're going to take that shot. How about just a foot, though? You have to sag and get a hand up. Okay. Steph Curry has... Revolutionized the oh, game yeah. of basketball. I think. Well, when you practice those shots now. Well, when you hug a guy in the low box, you know the weight distribution. Out front, it's the same principle. Mm -hmm. You're in there. You've got an angle. You know which side you can go on. It's uh, just not a good defensive stand that last trip. Inside, to no go. And coach, you know who I think was a great defender from the guard position. In situations that you were just talking about, remember when Greg Anthony played at UNLV, and then even when he went to the NBA with the Knicks, various teams he played. For? I had a game LSU UNLV, and they practiced in the ancillary gym at LSU, and they did all their defensive drills. That was the first time I saw Greg Anthony guard somebody. Then I saw him in Maui. He could make you dribble all the way to the baseline and always be in position. He would contain you, change you. Absolutely sensational defender. I tell you what, he's got a son in Cole Anthony. Right now playing at Archbishop Malloy in New York. He's going to be a great one. They say that he's the number one junior guard in America. How about that? I saw a little of one of their games. I think it was against Lutheran. And he was extremely impressive. He, I think he's a little taller than Greg, too. He's about 6'2", six, 6'2 two, six, two and a half. His mom, Crystal Anthony, very tall lady. Mm -hmm. About 5'11". They're all looking to get him. Harrington crossover, 15 footer. Rodriguez, the rebound. Delgado, the rebound. Nice wall-up job. Harrington, a three. And a foul called on Rousey. You're saying Rousey got a little piece of him as he challenged. And he's a little bit. Wow. If he just stuck the hand in there. Usually the no-no, the cardinal sin. He may have gotten him on the follow-through, which is what's upsetting him. Seton Hall, four for ten from the free throw line. It's been a problem for them. Sixty-seven is a team. And three things you need to know about Kadeen Carrington is major criminal justice, first date, dinner, occupation, if not hoops, mm -hmm. rapper. I think you would have been a great rapper, coach. <laughs> You've been like a, you know, rock him. Eminem. KRS One. Eminem. Yes. <laughs> I don't have any dance moves. I'm sure you do, though. Well, rappers don't really okay. dance that way. Well, I, I, I would have to do some motion just to... A little bit. All you got to do is bob your head. And repeat a few things, right? That's right. Three minutes to go. Oh, I thought he was going to jack he that one. He thought about it. He has the range you alluded to before. Nice kick out. I know. He knows what to cut. Drowsy. Lost an edge. They're going to give him a timeout. They got him. I guess he was out of bounds, Gus. But this is just terrific movement of the basketball. But pretty darn good coverage. And right here, that dive, really alert play and shut down beautifully. Sunoco, excellent defender. Walker. There's the bubble. Delgado, nice pass. Oh, can't leave him alone. Great job by Delgado. Look how happy he is, though, right? There's joy when he makes a play like that. He's a winner to kick. 
The lead cut to four. Marquette is led by as many as nine. Make them work of your Marquette. Nice hesitation. He loses it back. Traffic, but anytime the big guy gets the basketball, he surveys the floor. You gotta come big, arms up, and you gotta really cover on that weak side. Seton Hall can get closer here. Walker. Ooh, tough shot. You got it though. The little guy, the chirper. The energizer, 8 0 run for the Pirates. That is a tough stroke off the bounce. Under the rest. They got a timeout, I think, yeah. yeah. He was chirping already, and why not? He makes his three. Referees had to stop him from chirping, though. Just play. Hoops on FS1 sponsored by Jeep Grand Cherokee. We're ready for the second half, and the first half was a fiery one here in Newark, 42 to 41. Coach, this is what happened at the end of the first half. Yeah, I guess the two of them get together here in the corner. Elliott number five. And just that little discard. That starts it. And I guess some woofing. And then it all started during the game. Wojo does a nice job here walling up as a guard and I'm not making jest at this situation but the refs now are informing both coaches no nonsense and uh, it's going to cost your team a technical certainly and maybe potentially a game a game this close so uh, Big East basketball <laughs> brings me back to the 80s oh, boy, was that <laughs> when men were men oh my goodness but uh, hopefully they'll uh, square it up and just play some basketball all right how about marcus howard in that first half? Uh, he played well within himself great shot selection uh, great balance on his shot the step through a really good understanding of what type of shot he could deliver at the rim he does a great job with his separation move his elevation mm, impressive as we take a look at the first half stats brought to you by g marquette really burning it up and that's why seton hall is up playing some upset basketball because the Golden Eagles torched them in the first half. Yeah, they sure did. And then St. Hall was being out rebounded. They got back uh, with good measure there. Let's see if they just play basketball now. Rousey. Hauser tripped by Rodriguez and foul. Yeah, that's the second foul on Desi. Howard down the lane, runner, and the rebound goes to Sunogo. Carrington, double pump, can't squeeze it in. Nice job by Foley, though, making himself bigger. Rousey leaves it, Hauser D. Bam. Nice little slap back. <laughs> They got three dynamite scores, guys. Bowser with 11. Nice pass. A sellout, too. Froling's got to make a judgment. You don't gamble like that. You've got carte launch at the rim. Delgado with eight now. to the baseline inside rolling batted around picked up and a travel call on Marcus Holland. I think he had a shot but uh, this is just a really good understanding of what kind of shot to slap back and then Delgado at the other end they do you don't go and deny that high up you make a judgment you reverse get back between your man and the basket Delgado posting, catches it deep, now bumps, grinds, jump hook, can't get the roll, Hauser out, Marcus Howard, 
good cover on the corner. Sunoka is such an excellent defender. Rousey turns the corner. And him, mid range. Delgado with a rebound. And him with 11 points in the first half. Rodriguez bumped off the spot there. Rousey crossover. And a reach in foul coming up on Paul. The kid is quick with the basketball. He's clever. He's, you know what? He does not give up his dribble. He keeps the bounce. Oh, he's recognizing an opportunity to blow by or be creative. Second foul on Powell. <laughs> Only four for 16 from three. Nice cut. The kick back to Hauser. Sets. And he gets the shooter's roll. <laughs> Soft delivery by the big fella. Pretty good closeout, too, under duress. 14 for Hauser. 48-43. Inside, a little giveaway by Froling. And we're just getting in an area. He can do some damage. And how about this? A little paint chipping. Get the Union man out. Look at the backspin on that coach. Yeah, good reaction. He's a talented shooter. Our audio man for tonight's game, folks, is Joe Carr, one of the best in the business. And I just love to hear the sounds of this game tonight. You can tell that the rims are soft. You can hear the sneakers squeaking. That means the kids are digging in. And you can hear all the sounds of the chatter going on on the floor. But that's the part we don't want to hear. Although they have been very I thought, you, I thought you were supposed to talk on defense. No, that's okay. Okay. But, you know, getting after people. Uh, they were looking for a little time. I just checking on the time. Doug Shaw. This is a strong group, too. They're not going to let anything happen. Inside, Jackson, and a whistle. And they have nice inside passing, though. Just got to finish the deal. So many great players have come through the doors at Marquette. I mean, Al McGuire's guys. Burrellis, oh. Tatum. Uh, uh, Butch, was it Butch Lee? Uh, Butch Lee, we am sure the Puerto Rican Olympic team. Maurice Lucas, going way back. That's Walton's favorite player, by the way. And then you got guys like Dwayne Wade. Yeah, I'm oh, sure that was under Tom Craig. Travis Diener. Mm -hmm. Travis, I and think. And some guy playing. I worked with last night named Steve Novak. Ooh. Discount double check. But by the way, 66 straight free throws by Howard. He couldn't catch Steve he Novak. He couldn't catch Novak. One more. Well, Diagonal and Merck is screen the screener. I did. Cut off. And somebody Ready. got it up and in. Nice hesitation. Speed control. He's got 13. He has played well. Love the pace and the rhythm of this game. Desi Rodriguez straight up. Loose ball. Delgado somehow snared it and will draw a foul. Some guys have an innate ability. As we watch Anna with this terrific little maneuver, a little hesitation to kiss at the end of knowing where the ball's coming off. And that's Delgado on the offensive rebounding. Amazing. Delgado at the line with eight points. He also has six rebounds. And three assists. Angel. Impressive. And this is the area struggle. Three things you know and you need to know about Angel Delgado his hobby playing video games as every kid. Favorite dessert? Dominican cake. And what mom cooks best? Lasagna. Nice to have a mom or at least a wife that cooks. <laughs> uh, yeah, unfortunate to have that. You know, he is so good getting doubles. He should double doubles. His name should be Angel Angel Delgado. That's <laughs> I love that. 
Angel, Angel, <laughs> Mr. Double Double. Rousey forced it up. And that was it. Yeah. There's no way he could see the basket. But that bite, he loves to get you. Usually once a game, he steps to the foul line for three freebies with the pump fake. Okay, Marchetti's playing like they're desperate. The way you have to play these league games. Oh, that hook. Here comes the hook over that left shoulder, the big fella. Delivered. 11 points for Angel Delgado, and Marquette is desperate. They are desperate, excuse me. Down the lane, Howard. They've lost four in a row. That would make you desperate. Yes, sir. 15-33 to play second half. Great game going on right now. Uh, what helps desperation is when you can make shots like that. You're being shadowed, still knock it down, but the big fella, drop step. Angel Angel with the delivery. Mr. Double-Double. 53-48, Marquette on top of Seton Hall. Let's take a look at some Big East Tournament hopefuls, Coach. Now, Marquette, this is, you mentioned desperation earlier, and this is one of those games on the road, and they are looking at wins on the road. And of course, Butler, what a tough, tough team they are. God bless them. More of a detailed resume for the Golden Eagles. Interesting, you know, at Providence, a good win for Seton Hall at home. Road wins is where the pressure is. Funny you see, you know, Georgia's a good basketball team. The team, uh, Maiden, a terrific player. You see these teams as uh, bad losses, you wonder, wow. Marquette losing four straight blowouts at Xavier against Butler and close games against Villanova and Providence. The big thing, three of the four losses have been at home. Mm -hmm. That's why this will be a big one for him. Absolutely. It's almost like a win on the road is like two at home. I know. Seven to shoot. Rousey hangs in the air. Can't get the roll. Got it right on it somehow. I think help. Maybe help. Matt Help knocks it in. Big body. First basket of the second half, he has four. Delgado calling for it. Sonogo. Well, that really helps him. He can loosen him up with the bounce, but just forceful help really getting his big body in there. May have gotten away with a shove, but he deserves it. Pretty good effort. Think about Seton Hall, coach. Talking to the coaches. Shaheen Holloway and Coach Willard. Their guards get away from getting it to Delgado. He gets lost. They do forget him. You're right. How can you forget Angel Delgado? Freddie uh, Hill. Maybe because he's such a nice guy. A lot wow. of guys would say, hey, let's cut to the chase here. Get me the ball. Start ringing some necks. Yeah. <laughs> Snatching out the taking, taking numbers. And yeah, Shaheen, what a player he was. At the hall. There he is. He was the scout guy for this particular game. Howard, quick release. Wow. Boy, that was a late bump, too. To help, that's his job, be a screener. They don't need much space, guys like Howard. Marquette matching their largest lead of the game. Delgado. Rodriguez has been quiet offensively. I'd like him to drive a little more. Wow. And a nice box out by Halton. Sure was on Sonogo. Really moved his feet. He did. Rousey. Play with the other guys. Rousey pops out on the wing. Howard goes to the other corner. Now they run the pick and roll. And then on the hop. Oh, nice play, huh? Out of bounds, and it'll be Seton all ball. Angel really in the right spot. Great cover with that breakdown on the defensive end. Uh, just really so many things he does well. Being big, and actually ends up 
How about that? Huh? It's a no-go, 20-footer. That's a three. He has eight. Here come the Pirates, 58-52. Great atmosphere here at the Prudential Center in Newark. And a pretty good crowd despite the weather, huh? Howard, he'll shoot that. Slips to the basket. They on the chase. I think they got Powell. New cut to the rim. Third foul on Powell. And these guards have been wearing Powell out. Well, you got Marquette. You better get sleep when you're playing Marquette as a guard. They're instrumental on each trip. Great to watch these coach. Dan Johnson had the scout job for Marquette going over the Seton Hall stuff. Some pretty good players on that bench. Brett Nelson and Chris Carroll, the old Duke. Rousey hits as he shoots and will go to the line. Marquette 10 of 15 from the three-point line tonight. Carrington has been out of sorts. He's been concentrating so much on trying to guard these guys. But you get tired chasing them, too. And his offense is up. They're always in the mix, too. He only good. has nine. They don't rest each offensive trip. He can make free throws, too, 90%. Second free throw, and it's good. He's one of those no tin guys. It's all met with that stroke. 11 points for Rousey. He averages 19. Rodriguez, deep jumper. That's a senior, right? Staring down, stroking it. Greg Elliott in the game, number five for Marquette. Yeah, he can do the job Ooh, crossover, Rousey. Look at him Gets again. Back, Rousey. Enzi with a rebound. He'll be playing the rest of his life, Rousey. Wowing people. Rodriguez, heat check here. This is when they forget Delgado, though. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. No question. Let him touch it. All of a sudden, he's a passing fancy. He can get you easy ones. They got two screeners on the floor. I'll tell you what. They go to the well. No question about it. Get it going a little. You can always get that shot when you're that good a player. Jamal Kane ready to check in for Marquette. Golden Eagles need this one in the worst way. It could be a resume builder. Here's Walker, the energizer. And Anna really does a great job forcing to catch it deeper on the floor. Now Delgado. He's got the hook. To the hole. Not a good one. Good defense by Hell. Help now. Got a little hook. There it is, that left. Pretty good at it. Knows his game. He has six. 62-55. Let's sort of let Rousey know the other guys can do some damage. You don't have to check and duck every trip. Walker down the lane, penetrating. Oh, I love his fast twitch coach. You like him, huh? Yes. He must be like you as a young kid. A little bit of a nudge. Never that fast. away. But how about this old time delivery? Hell, what a money. And coming up next, it's game two of our Big East doubleheaders. Creighton travels to Chicago to take on DePaul. The Big East Wednesday night jam continues next right here on FS1 or stream it live on Fox Sports Go. Take a look at the Big East standings. DePaul 2 and 8. Creighton 7 and 4. How big Marquette is for them, no question about it. Get back in touch with that 500 mark. We get this one for Seton Hall. Been solid all year. Sometimes teams have your number too. They didn't yeah. play well out there. I always remember. I always remember Kansas and Oklahoma when Danny Manning was there. I think Oklahoma with Mookie Blaylock and uh, Harvey Grant mm -hmm. beat him. I want to say three times during the 
season twice during the regular season and once in the big 12 championship, or, championship or tournament and big then eight then maybe big eight tournament yeah, yeah and then Kansas finally beat him the in the one. national championship. Yeah. Billy Tubbs. In Kansas City. Danny and the Miracle. Danny. I had a seat in the end zone. Oh, you're at right, that game. Next to the man. I wanted, oh, my goodness. I wanted to swear off music. And <laughs> Desi. tube in my ear. You got a little better seat now, Coach. <laughs> Rodriguez, Seton Hall, when they look at this game, they're going to say we should have hit more free throws there. 11 of 20 right now. Hey, you, know, you made the point about Carrington. They have to guard so much. Uh, the impact on the offensive end may be part of their problems. Uh, Marcus Howard back in. A little zone look now. you got to tag the shooters. Two on the floor. Hauser. And, of course, Howard. I am. Help. Three to shoot. Help doesn't know. Howard, and he won't get it off in time. Pretty, look at it. He makes it too. Ten turnovers for Coach Woj's team. Help never looked opposite either, and nobody cut for him too. The only one active was Howard. Now Rousey back in, replacing Greg Elliott. Carrington has been quiet offensively. He's got to be aggressive. Oh, dude. Got to be something. Run the weave up top. Delgado comes out the screen for Carrington. They don't get that switch they want. A little on big. Inside Enzi. Oh. Yeah, good spot, too. Got to convert. With your Marquette, that's the guy you want taking the yeah. shot. A little soft spot. Now they got three people on the floor. They go straight up man. They can shoot the ball. That is. Rousey off the bounce. Leads in. his play. And he'll go to the line. He's so clever with that dribble. Little pump fake, but the ability to convert from deep stretches your defense. A little cradle. And a reward for Hauser. But they've got three dynamite deep strokers. That certainly opens up things in terms of their driving game. And his brother is supposedly better than him. I can't wait to see that. That's crazy. Right? And his brother, red shirting. Joey. Brother Joey. The Rousey on the season. 11 20 point games this year, four of which are 30 point games. And there he is. He was injured. Uh, on the top of that, he's got Bill Raftery hair. <laughs> Is that good or bad? That's good. Oh, all right. There's Joey. I used to have that crew cut in the old days. Ours had to last for about five weeks. The folks wouldn't pay for it. Walker. There's the switch they want. That's the shot. And I don't blame Marquette. Don't give that one up. Power crossover. For the space he gets. Rousey, the teardrop. And tapped up and in by help. Largest lead of the game now for the Golden Eagles. Boy, that kid's the nice, effective work around the rim. Help for Marquette. He's doing a nice job. He's got eight points. Uh, once you drive, it gets attention. You step up, it opens up the backcourt. Big fella delivered. Welcome back to College Hoops on FS1, sponsored by Jeep Grand Cherokee. Interesting game here. Marquette, a team that's lost four in a row. On top, 66-56 with 9.30 to go. According to Howie Schwab, here are your number one seeds for the upcoming NCAA tournament. I think it's produced at Michigan State coming up down the road. Right now, St. John's leading Villanova by seven on the road with uh, under seven to go in the second half. Unbelievable, isn't it? Unbelievable. You got to go watch that game, Coach. You're going to love it. I know. You have Duke, a ball. St. John's. St. John's has lost 11 straight conference games. Desi Rodriguez and a whistle. 
And a quick hitter there, a little dribble exchange. Work on the floor, give a little speed and match up. Four guards playing right now, if you can include Desi. And Angel gets a blow, too. Rousey call for his third. Most games, free throws are huge, and they are struggling. Seven of 18 now. Seton Hall, the worst foul shooting team in the Big East. Scratch that. 11 of 21. Second free throw goes. 66 57. 12 of 23 shooting from the free throw line for the Pirates. That's a story for them. Mm -hmm. Automatic switch. On a similar size as on the floor, you can do this. Here they go again. Howard. Ooh, why, why? Wow, number four, if I'm not mistaken, huh? Wow. And that is his fourth. Why? Need one more than one of one, right? Right. Nice use of the screen. Power cut off by Sonogo. Nice pass. Sonogo gets there. Oh, got a man defended. Walker the other way. Hard push. Jump stop. Down it. How about this kid? One on four. He's got some juice. I'll give him that. The energizer with five. Oh, look at Rousey. Help. Down low. Blew the layup. Two of them. Ooh. Momentum starting to swing. A shot here will be big as Walker gets there. And he'll go to the line. Well, you are right about juice and energy. This kid comes electrified. And this is one you got to make. There's two of them that hurt. And this is one on four, folks. Get the puppies organized. Number two, drilling it. Jordan Walker. Can't get back in it if you can't make these. Fox stopped everything in your favor. That'll make the second. Seton Hall, 13 of 24 from the free throw line. And Foley coming in, uh, hoping he can finish around the rim a little bit. Helps done a nice job. It's just tough. He had two opportunities, really. To link to the cause. Energy back in the building now for the Pirates. Look and a steal. Walker drives to the hole. Oh, he missed the layup. Desi Rodriguez couldn't snare it. Got to use the glass. It's amazing. Your great school coach teaches you that. Howard. A mismatch here, he can elevate. Hauser can't get it to stay down. They kick it out to Walker. This kid's got the juice. Let's see if it can spread. Nice pass. Inside Rodriguez, no. Right, with a nice look. That lets him play off the ball with Walker on the floor. You don't have to be in a hurry if you're Marquette. Get a good clean look. Let somebody else touch it. You'll always get it back. Howard, 10 to shoot. He may look to take this one himself. And draws the five. 7-17 to play second half. Marquette holding on to a six-point lead. All right, the game reset is sponsored by SoFi Rethinking Personal Finance. To take a look, Marquette with three timeouts. Pirates with two and the arrow going to Seton Hall. Let's take a look at the foul trouble. I mentioned Powell that jump in there was unnecessary really just close that little sideline. For this team Seton Hall not that you want to be behind but they were comfortable 13 down with Creighton 11 down with Butler came back to win. 
good games going on tonight. This one, Marquette, Seton Hall, St. John's leading Villanova with under five to go. Later on, Ohio State at Purdue. We'll see what Coach Holtman's Buckeyes could do at Mackey. What a year he's had, huh? Amazing. Virginia, Florida State. Virginia up by five with three minutes to go. Virginia, the number two team in America. This team makes free throws. That is always favorable. And particularly the distinct difference between these two clubs. Well, Marcus Howard leads the nation in free throw percentage at 94%. He hit his first 57 free throws this season and made 66 in a row dating back to last season before he missed against Xavier on January 24th. My Bucks broadcast partner last night, Steve Novak, holds the all-time Marquette record for consecutive free throws made with 68. You think that's a smile he just detected on Mr. Novak back he, there? He oh, got lucky. lucky. Novak got lucky. Oh, they upset at somebody. And now it looks like somebody's going to get chucked, a fan from the crowd. Pat Driscoll says, I've had enough of you, buddy. Time to leave. He's got a round of applause. So here we go, 68-60, Marquette. Marcus Howard is 20 points. And Rousey has 13. Hauser with 14. Anim with 13. Welcome to New Jersey, Pat. <laughs> <laughs> Carrington. Driving. Good point to up. Hauser blocked him off. Great defense. And a lot of run without Angel. Hauser with eight rebounds. Okay, there's better matches and also that bugaboo of free throws. Power guarded by Rodriguez. Shaking him up. Okay, Hauser can do some damage right here. He's great at this mid post up. Guarded by Carrington, draws a double nice team. Finds a baseline cutter. A nip gets his own rebound. No. No call. A trip. I think a nip with his hand. And that is the 19th foul against Marquette. So Seton Hall, clock stops with 6.30 to go. We'll shoot one and one. And Angel back, well rested. Now here's the thing. I would power to him. He's great. In finding people that are cutting or cross court. Seed Hall back at the line. They've had trouble tonight, trouble all season shooting free throws. 13 of 24. Carrington now 3 of 4. An old friend of mine, Kenny Kunzman, who was a terrific shooter, I think I told this with you once before. He talks to Angel and bend the knees and it's really the head more than the technique anymore. Once you get the fundamentals down. 11 points now for Carrington, his first two points of the second half. It's all about stops for the hall and good shots if you're Marquette. Rousey, he's got a quick trigger. Turns the corner of the baseline. He keeps that dribble alive. Power fires. Shot. Marcus Howard with 23. The backcourt mate, but keeping the dribble, not doing anything silly at the rim by Rousey. Sonogo answers. We got it going a little bit now, Gus. 71-65. You like this kid with the bounce, huh? Doesn't go up against the bigs, finds his partner, get him organized and drill it. 71 to 65, Marquette. We'll reset it for you. Golden Eagles with three timeouts, Pirates with one. Each team shooting one and one, arrow favoring the Pirates. 
I think Steph's got to go through Hauser with this group on the floor now. I know, I know the guards are adept at dribble driving, but he is a terrific screener, pop guy, mid post up, great touch and range. Rousey, Hauser, Marcus Howard, help. On him. And we got Desi on Howard. There's Howard. Hauser, rather. 12 to shoot for Rousey. Pulls up. High Archer. Oh, good. He knows Delgado too far from the screener. 15. Oh, yeah, that's an offensive foul. I'll tell you, you just see right here, you're too far away to help. The close, he is so efficient. Gets himself square. Watch how quick the feet and a release. Bang! Pretty good D at the other end by Rousey, too. Gets the call. And a steal. Pop. Give it up. He's got Carrington. Carrington. Bang! Good luck. Great anticipation by Powell. 73 67, five minutes ago here in Newark. The length of the pass just too long for Marquette. Well, can Seton Hall come up with stops when they need them? Rousey and Howard have both been brilliant. Anim has been able to attack. Rousey, Hauser. And it's Marquette basketball. Well, how's it really fortunate? Uh, this is just a great anticipation. The length of the pass, too much area and air. And the finish big time at number zero. Now Seton Hall has to dig in for another 30 seconds. Rousey hesitation. Numbers here. Outlet, pop. Pretty good transition defensively. Here's Carrington off the dribble to the hole. Oh, Cut it! And the foul! The lefty going right, Gus. Terrific read. They jump that left hand. And that's something you see in the scouting report. But just the experience here to put it down. How about this little kiss? A little love by the senior. What a little setup on the breakdown, fake and left. But they got to hit their free throws. <laughs> 15 of 27, Seton Hall at the line tonight. And a timeout call by Marquette. 73 to 69, 411 to go in the second half. And down the six, they go. <laughs> Much stoner, a look at the Big East standings. Villanova on the ropes with St. John's tonight. 70 to 66 with 59 seconds to go. It behooves you to be ready no matter who you're playing. Let's take a look at the game reset. Golden Eagles with two timeouts, 10 fouls. Pirates one timeout, eight fouls. So Seton Hall, when they're fouled, they'll shoot two. Golden Eagles will shoot one and one. As I said, they've really stepped up their defense. They've done a much better job in their man-to-man -man coverage. They know the options at the yeah. one end. The big thing is rebounding and, of course, the woeful free throw shooting of Seton Hall. Foul trouble. Seton Hall, two players with four, Powell and Carrington. And Carrington's guarding Rousey right now. He's got to be careful as we approach the four-minute mark. It looks like he's got a little triangle in two. Howard. Wow, and they make him pay. That's a great, 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 great. 26 for Marcus Howard. Played the two guards man. Rodriguez a three. And, and foul. And why would you follow through? You go straight up, not forward. And um, call for the foul. Look at the lunge forward. That's just, you stay in a stance, you go straight up. Jump stop. And how about this counter? First little change, and they were ready, particularly that kid, Howard. Rodriguez, two for five at the free throw line this evening. They're 15 of 27 overall. 
That's one good. Now he's a 70% shooter. Carrington was 84. Had, one, had that miss earlier. Rodriguez with 15. Probably a little three-footer foot pressure now after this next one. And he misses the third. 76-71. Marquette trying to break a four-game losing streak and pick up a huge road win. Straight up man, automatic switching. Hauser shows Sorry. it, fades, held with a rebound. That's his job. Good and job, bodying him under Delgado. And Rousey will slow him up. They've done a nice job rebounding Marquette consistently. Rousey pick and roll, keeps his dribble alive. Now to Howard. Swings it in front, down the lane, and he's fouled. I don't think I got Delgado on that, on that switch in the lane. You know, you know how unerring he, he is on the free throw line as well. But when you can shoot, like Marcus Howard, you hug the guy, he can be explosive in the lane, a little snow go, excuse me, he's the fouler. Howard, big game tonight, 27 points. Well, as good as Novak shot free throws, I don't think he was as shifty as Marcus on the floor. Second free throw good. He's got 28, six for six from the line. Remember, he leads the nation in free throw percentage at 94%. Down the stretch, Seton Hall doesn't want to foul him. Carrington. Got to go to the rim or get it inside somehow. 15 footer. On him. Mel did a good job trapping the arms of Delgado. 78 71. Don't have to be in a hurry. Ten to shoot. Rousey backs it up. Trap it. Rousey! Ten for the rebound. And a shot clock for the Golden Eagles. What a great job that kid's done. Boy, knowing your ability and your contributions. Solid. Held with ten rebounds. Bowser can do some damage, I think, if you use him. Here he is. Size disparity. Takes his time. Comes up short. Delgado with the board. Seton Hall down. 78-71. Carrington. Powell, a three. And it's goodness to range. 78-74. Pirates with one timeout remaining. And a timeout, Marquette. And they have one left as well. Goodness, the distance, the accuracy, both clubs, the extraordinary counter punching. Little understanding of distance, height, can elevate a little bit. Disadvantage Howard, he's looking unbelievable. Sticking it. Reset it one more time for you. Each team with the timeout, and each team. When fouled, will shoot two. Arrow favors Seton Hall. Seton Hall has missed twice as many free throws as Marquette has missed threes. It's just that some note, huh? That's scary. Big thing here is how they handle the ball screen. They have not done a good job. Delgado gives space. You just can't really show. And these two guards are so clever with the dribble. They expose and exploit. Rousey. Anum. Hauser. Help. Howard. The Marquette. Here it comes. Rousey. Steps in. Brick. Loose. Rodriguez. Carrington. Head of steam. has got to be under control. Pop. Got it. Cool thought he had it. I don't know if I like the shot that quick, but boy, it looked good. 
And Sonogo takes a dive. I hope they gave Marquette this ball, but this is really good challenge by Rousey. Meanwhile, St. John's is still leading the number one team in the nation. Villanova on the road, 73 to 70, with 37 seconds left. What a week it could possibly be for the Red Storm. It's unbelievable. From other devastation, really struggling, couldn't get a win. Take on Duke, and then the potential of Villanova, utterly amazing. Under a minute to go. Big possession here for both teams. And watch Adam on the offensive rebounding. Here he is, slashing. How about that? Hitting. Good drive, something he can do. Make them use clock if you're Marquette. Carrington, 43 seconds. They got a timeout. Coach Willard uses last timeout. Boy, this is a nice call out of the timeout. Just look at the empty side here, the confidence. He does some nice little things for this basketball team. He's not going to jump out with stats, but the blow by big time gives him a little bit of a cushion here. Normally, now you'd say they drive, get it to the post, let's get to the free throw line. Sinol has their problems particularly on that free throw line, but you got to go to the rim and maybe get Delgado an opportunity on the box. All 80 points for Marquette coming from their starters as we take a look at the upcoming schedule for the Golden Eagles. Who wants to play St. John's anymore? Uh-oh. Right? And of course, we know how good Creighton can be. Prolific offensive team. And the upcoming schedule for Seton Hall. Now we talked about the great job Georgetown's been doing I'm sure they'd like more wins, but they've been tough for them. Xavier is such a solid basketball team. Nothing easy, nothing given. Now you want a quick response here. You don't want to use a whole lot of clock. Get your pressure set up after the timeout. This could be a Desi play. Delgado to Carrington. Rodriguez. Down the lane, bully ball, and it goes down. Nice call on the timeout with the lead to Desi Rodriguez. 35 seconds to go. Hauser. Here to give it. Tries to dribble out of a double team. Finds Rousey. Seton Hall finally fouling. Uh, Carey, they didn't want to, he didn't want to give it because he had the four. At some point, it doesn't matter. So, Carrington fouls out with 15 points. Hauser at 86%. Mark these down. He is exhausted from chasing around Rousey and Howard all night. Who wouldn't be, right? Well, they dominate the basketball. Every trip is a pressure trip. Marquette has made 10 free throws in a row. Third best free throw shooting team in the country. Hauser's an 87% free throw shooter. Now the other two, the guards, certainly get the headlines, but this is the steady Eddie for me. Eddie thinks he can do to contribute to this team. Second free throw, good. 22.7 to go, Marquette. Rodriguez. Nice defense. Powell takes the three. And gets it. 82 79. Gotta be ready to give it. Hauser. And this is their final timeout. Coach Woj doing a nice job keeping that final timeout. Keeping your hip pocket. Final 14.6. Big time. He had one in his pocket. And now you can run that baseline on this inbounds pass, but this is just a home court contribution. What touch, that deep, how tender that is, particularly for the Pirates. And now exactly what are you going to do in terms of setting your man up to get the inbounds pass, harass the inbounds passer, be big on the ball. Might see Delgado down there. 
NC or something of that size. Remember, Seton Hall holds a possession arrow. 14.6 to go, 82 to 79. You don't have a choice of who to foul, and they are a good free throw shooting team, as you've alluded to all evening. And them is a 61% free throw shooter. So if you want to foul somebody, it seems like he would be a likely choice. Helts, 91%. Rousey, 90%. Hauser, 87%. And then there's Marcus Howard at 94. Well, Anna would be the one guy maybe at 61, you know? They're not fronting him. They're going to let him get the... Let's see how they do it now. How oh, they switch it. Base guard, big on the ball. Sonoga. Here's Hauser. No timeout. Finally gets it in help, and they foul Howard. Best free throw shooter in America. Great cut by him you had your choice you'd rather get help once he had the basketball i think he's a bad free throw shooter well just a great effort defensively and just to get up off the ground and get to get himself clear to get the pass he just wanted to help saying hey it's your potato 28 points for howard he's six of six from the line this evening well, you got to admire this staff and this team coming in here after a tough bunch of losses and showing a lot of character. Not that it's over. Goodness. St. John's on top of Villanova, 77-75 with three seconds left. Johnny's with the ball. Power. Yeah, it's the first. He, he gave it a, a, fun, a quizzical look. Like, what the heck was that shot? Big thing is on this next trip, you do not want to foul. Challenge shots, but do not give an opportunity for a make and a free throw. 13.5 to go. Rodriguez picks it up. Go to the goal. Takes a three. Wow. And he's fouled behind the line. And Coach Walsh can't believe it. Why? I mean, there's no reason. First of all, size-wise, you can't get up that high. This is unnecessary. Wow. This belief. Well, that's wasted hustle, a play like that. Rodriguez, four of eight from the free throw line. He needs all three of these. Clock stop, ideal situation to see the hell. We've had trouble getting it in, too, Gus Marquette. Cuts over a five-second goal would be ideal for St. Hall. Aaron Gordon checks in now for Powell. Rodriguez with 20. This is the important one right here. And he got it. All three. It allows Seton Hall to set their defense. Remember, they've got the arrow. Here's the scramble. Hauser looking for Howard. They get it to Help, and Help is quickly. They got the foul. They got the foul. As Walker grabs it. So Help will make the walk to the free throw line. He's 0 for 1 from the line this evening. But he's a 91% free throw shooter. 84-82. They get the free time out. They're going to check on the time. 8.1 on the clock right now. There's the foul. The whistle was a little later, though. You can see maybe a tenth of a second or two. The lag time between the foul and the call. Meanwhile, in Philly, St. 
St. John's leading Villanova 79-75, and it's a final. The Red Storm have defeated the number one team in the nation, folks. They beat Duke at that time, the number four team, over the weekend. And that's their first Big East win of the year How after losing that? 11 in a row. It's utterly amazing what winning will do. Upset of Duke. Marquette now, 14 free throws made in a row. Help. This kid has been so solid all game long. Anything that's been asked of him, whether it's screening, occupying space, checking out, playing Delgado, he has responded magnificently. Nine points and eight rebounds. Look at that stroke, though, huh? Gets them both. 8.1 to go. Rodriguez picks it up. Takes the three. And Howard with the board. Marquette now with a chance to ice it, 1.4 to go. What a happy group over there, starting with that guy. Well, he was really struggling this afternoon. Marcus Howard has 30, though. He's 8 for 8 from the line. And help gets a big attaboy from his head coach. Hot yoga will be really good tomorrow <laughs> in Milwaukee. When I, when I say struggling, we're struggling about being so competitive and being close and then not performing up to their capabilities. Howard, 31, 9 for 9. Kid's been perfect. Sensational. Ball play. 1.4 to go, and that'll do it. Marquette snaps a four-game losing streak as they beat Seton Hall 88-82 the final.